you yourselves. Verse 2. You. You are our letter of recommendation. That's, that's my, that's my, those are my credentials. You are that. You're my, you're the letter of, of recommendation, Paul says. Written on our hearts to be known and to be read by all. What an amazing response. Because now you're tick, now you're, you're feeling insecure. Now you want to go. That's the, that's the natural inclination. But Paul says, no, guess what? I don't, do you want me to pull out my letters? I could do that. But you know, you're my letters. You are our letter of recommendation, you Christians. He does the unexpected. That which is natural, that which is not typical. Here's what verifies my ministry. You. You do. I don't need a letter. People can look at you. And here it is, Christian. People can look at you. People should look at you. Right? And see the work of Christ in you. That work that Christ has given me the privilege of leading you to Him. That's it. You are my letter of recommendation. And when people look at you and see Christ, that reflects His privilege, His work in me leading you to Him. Did you get that? I hope so, because I, I won't be able to repeat that. <laughs> Don't ask me to say that again. But that's the deal. That's what it is, man. And that's what... That's a, and it is like that for us as, as, as leaders, as pastors, as teachers. You know that. That's what you want. You want to, to, not to reflect you as much, but to see Christ in them. And he's using us. And that goes for all of us as Christians. When you minister, when you talk to people like Christ, the way you live your life, the way you do your job, your attitude that you have, how you speak to others, it's all there. That's what it is. You're the letter. That's they, people can see that there's something different about you because the word that we brought to you, because we're teaching you. That's, that's what it is. That You're my letter, man. Yes, with all your faults, with all your foibles, as messed up as you are, even as great, you're still, if you belong to Christ, you are a recommendation. So people look at you, they see Christ. That's what authenticates our ministry. You're my letter. I don't need to pull anything out. I don't need to show you this. I don't need somebody else to come in and tell you how, you know, Great I am. You, by your love and your faithfulness and your obedience to Jesus Christ, is all the difference. There's something different about you. Amen? That's it. How amazing is that? People can see something different about you. The transformation in your life. How are you a letter? They see that, that at one time you were unbelieving and now you're believing in Christ. Right? At one time you were lost. And now you're found in Him. At one time you were walking in darkness. Now you're living in the light of Christ. Amen? That's different. That's a transformation that takes place through Him. At one time you were dead in your trespasses and sins. And now you're alive in Him. Amen? That's it. That's, that's, you're reflecting that. That's the letter. That's what you want people to see. That you were in bondage to sin at one time in your life and living for yourself. And now you're living in freedom. You're free to live for Him. You're not in bondage to sin. You don't have to sin anymore. We still do, but we're not in bondage to that. We're not just blind living in that in that way. We could fight it. We repent of it. We renounce it. We turn from it. We put on the new man. Right? That's it. That's the letter. You, that's what we're bringing forth. That's the that's what we want people to see. That's in those uh, those people that are causing trouble. When they see that in you, that's authentic Christianity, and that that proves them wrong and shows that you're in the right. You're sincerely loving them and trusting them. I'm not going to go down that road. He's bringing the truth. When you're not living for yourself, but you're living for and through Jesus Christ, right? You, you are my letter of recommendation. What do you want to see? Take a look in the mirror and how you doing. Right? That's it. How are you doing? How are you reflecting in your life? Are you a letter? People even look at you and our life and our ministry. What is it? Not going to be perfect, absolutely. It's not, it's not going to be in this life. But are you loving the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you seeking to live for Him? 